And the government just gave $153 million to roll out a computer system to tie all this together to the federal and state governments. And police are sitting there nodding their heads in meetings all over the country. And they're being told, you are now going to have access to everyone's phone calls and emails without a warrant. We're listening to everyone. The computers are tracking everything. And the main group you're going to watch is veterans. Does a veteran criticize the government? But it gets worse. The article says they'll be able to face scan you. This is already up nationwide. And if you're making ugly faces, you'll go on the list. I, I mean, it's so bizarro world. If I made a science fiction movie 20 years ago, it would be a comedy if it had stuff in it like this. It's so, that's what I'm saying, it's so off the chart it, it, that I can't even believe it. But they're just doing it. They don't give radiation badges to the feds driving around with the x-ray trucks. Those guys are deaded in doornail. We've had radiologists on the show. Not just callers who say they're radiologists. We've had engineers and radiologists on. Now i got to have arguments with the idiot public. No, running x-ray machines every day w without standing behind a lead wall is going to kill you. I mean, look, I don't, I don't know how else i got to explain this to you. Just like DU's killing you deader than a hammer. How many of you veterans are 35 years old out there and already are on dialysis? DU fries your kidneys, buddy boy. You've got Rahm Emanuel, whose mommy and daddy were the heads of the Irgun Israeli terrorist group, who through Homeland Security is funding Israeli companies to spy on veterans groups, gun groups, and others. They are issuing law enforcement alerts for veterans that criticize anything the government does, because they know you know how to fight. I mean, it's just, it's, it's so incredible. And here's the headline at PrisonPlanet.com. Please get this out to everybody. Feds use pre-crime to target disgruntled veterans. Mind Machine Project reports to find domestic terrorists by building psychological profiles from illegally wiretapped phone and email conversations. And again, the police sit there in these symposiums that they're rolling out to them and are told how they're completely breaking the law, spying on everything. I mean, this is just the lawlessness. This is real tyranny. They're doing it. And the government's contracting with foreign intelligence agencies to do it because they can't get enough feds to break the law. The government seems to be obsessed with targeting disgruntled veterans with pre-crime and other unconstitutional forms of surveillance, demonization and harassment, the latest example being an Orwellian software program that purports to identify potential terrorists by analyzing the tone of phone conversations and emails to detect resentment towards government. You're not allowed to do that in America. America's about sitting down and shutting up and loving government and doing whatever it says. Don't criticize government-run health care. Don't criticize gun control. The Massachusetts Institute of Technology's Mind Machine Project, which is currently being demonstrated to law enforcement officials, not servants, officials, around the country, is primarily aimed at weeding out troubled veterans. That's a quote from the Buffalo News, who may be, I mean, they were at the symposium, may be planning to commit terrorist bombings or political assassinations by illegally wiretapping their phone calls and Internet communications in order to build psychological profiles. As we reported yesterday, the program purports to be able to identify resentment towards government. That's, that was the number one search term yesterday. Good job, folks. Which is characterized by the technology's proponents at some kind of mental illness that requires the intervention of health professionals. See, because this is all outside the law. They've committed no crime, but men in white suits come. And if you don't like it, the SWAT team comes. Or worse, a trait of domestic terrorists planning imminent attacks. Why is the government so intent on targeting veterans as likely terrorists, seemingly unconcerned about Muslim extremists hiding in caves in Central Asia? Wasn't all of this set up for that? No, it was always set up for us. The big cis DHS anti-terror machine has been firmly pointed towards the American people, with the government making every effort to subject its own citizens to measures that were supposedly introduced to fight foreign extremists, the latest example being federal checkpoints that radiate American truckers with X-ray devices at highway inspection stations. Having already had their benefits slashed and their right to self-defense eviscerated with the passage of the so-called Veterans Disarmament Act, men and women who serve their country are now being treated uh, with more disdain than drug smugglers and illegals coming across the border from Mexico. 
In May of 2009, the New York Times reported on how Boy Scouts were being trained by Homeland Security and FBI to disarm and forcibly arrest, quote, we have a link to this, we're not making this up, disgruntled Iraqi war veterans who were characterized in the exercise as domestic terrorists. And they're training the 14-year-olds, now 16-year-olds, to go out and hunt down and kill veterans who wouldn't turn their guns in. I mean, this is in the news, and they're saying it's good. Oh, look at these lovely little Yugen. Ten minutes into errant mayhem in their town near the Mexican border, a gunman, a disgruntled Iraqi war veteran, has already taken two people, taken out two people, one slumped on a desk. I'm quoting the New York Times. The other covered in blood on the floor. See, they always cast the vets as killers, began the article, later describing how Boy Scouts were told by a federal agent to put him on his face and put a knee in his back. I guarantee he'll shut up. They teach him how to torture people. Veterans were again targeted in the April 2009 Homeland Security Assessment Report entitled Right-Wing Extremism, Current Economic and Political Climate Fueling Resurgence in Radicalization and Recruitment. We'll finish up with this article, then we're getting Bob Chapman on. Before we talk about the economy with him, I'm going to talk about the open borders, globalism. Fox News boss Murdoch calls for legalizing 40 million illegals. Feds use pre-crime to target disgruntled veterans is what we're covering right now. Continuing reading Paul Joseph Watson's article, please get this out to all veterans you know. Veterans were again targeted in April of 09 by Homeland Security Assessment Report entitled Right-Wing Extremism, Current Economic and Political Climate Fueling Reassurgence and Radicalization and Recruitment. The report warned the number one threat is veterans. It warned law enforcement officers to be on guard against disgruntled military veterans, especially veterans returning from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan who were demonized as potential terrorists. The return of military veterans facing significant challenges, reintegrating into their communities could lead to potential emergencies, an emergence of terrorist groups or lone wolf extremists capable of carrying out violent attacks. Yeah, like when somebody finds out that they were soft killed with DU. They're just supposed to take it and love it and die. And the cops, most of them former military, you're supposed to just die, too, and love it. And thank you, government. Thank you, bankers. Because they know you got a reason to be mad. The return of, this is from the report, the return of military veterans facing significant challenges, reintegrating into their communities, could lead to the potential emergence of terrorist groups or lone wolf extremists capable of carrying out violent attacks, said the report, quoting American supposed best and brightest with Al-Qaeda bombers. DHS... Chief Janet Napolitano, because see, the terrorists don't like you. The Homeland Security stages the, the, the terror attacks. They stage the cyber attacks, all of it. So they're the terrorists, and they're worried you're going to find out they're the terrorists. That's why they've got Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh, Stephen Colbert, Stewart on the left, all attacking 9-11 truth this week, because they're worried. Because their bosses need to be able to keep bombing stuff so they can point all this at you. It's real simple. They blow stuff up, claim it's for a foggy enemy, build a giant apparatus the whole time that was designed for you, and now that's admitted. So now they're going to blow stuff up and say you did it. You, you, you understand how that works. It's real simple. This is how they arrest you. They're terrorists. And their little mouthpieces are part of the terrorism. DHS Chief Janet Napolitano was subsequently forced to apologize to veterans for the report, a token gesture which did not satisfy veterans organizations that were deeply offended at the content of the Homeland Security Assessment. How about the veterans associations complain about gun groups, uh, you know, being targeted as terrorists? How, how about veterans complain about how they're having their Second Amendment taken away for no reason? Pete Hegseth, chairman of Vets for Freedom, responded. It wasn't an apology in my view. It was one of those non-apology apologies. She was sorry that the veterans were offended. She should either apologize for the content of the report as it stands, or they should rewrite the report as, and reissue it. The whole thing is for you. It wasn't just that one report. Despite the apology, Big Sis Napolitano, Homeland Security, and the rest of the federal bureaucracy continue to make it clear that military veterans are the primary target of the war on terror, with the revelation that authorities are seriously looking at MIT's new pre-crime software as a useful tool with which to spy on the vet's private communications. They're already doing this. They're just now rolling it out. Identify emotional spikes and betray resentment towards government. These are quotes. And that target them with surveillance designed to be used on suspected terrorists. While the CIA blocks a lawsuit brought by veterans concerning illegal experiments on troops between the 50s and 70s, and while police officers beat those same veterans nearly to death, we have links to that, 
the authorities, not the servants, continue to make vets the number one domestic target of the war on terror. A sobering reminder of the fact that the feds have identified the American people as their main enemy and are now focusing the vast and expanding force of big government against those who have considered themselves patriots for their entire lives. But they know you're going to wake up to who the real terrorists are, that America's been taken over by offshore mega corporations. They know that you're waking up to all of this, and they are coming after you. Homeland security is for the American people. It is a classical tyranny wrapped in a high-tech sleeve, and it is expanding against all of us. And the problem is the government can give questionnaires to the TSA, the troops, the FBI, the police, and can always find a willing reservoir of useful idiots who like petty power who will stomp all over our liberties and freedoms. We are under attack. But I was just completing uh, going over this article. Uh, feds use pre-crime to target disgruntled veterans. And I wanted to first talk about this with Bob Chapman before we get into the economy and Rupert Murdoch calling for legalization of 40 million illegal aliens so they can get them on the political take and have the Chicago mafia machine completely take over uh, the country. But, but more and more, uh, veterans are starting to understand that the entire homeland security system is pointed at them and true patriots. We are the enemy of this criminal corporate state known as the New World Order. But I'm just amazed that they can come out in AP, Buffalo News, Wired Magazine and admit, okay, Homeland Security is already trolling your phone calls, your emails, everything. And if a veteran or anybody else mildly criticizes the government, they say, we're going to surveil you more. I mean, this is an active chilling effect. They're coming out and going, okay, we are breaking the law. We are watching all of you. You see this whole Homeland Security thing? It's set up for you. And they know most people... Police, veterans, bureaucrats are cowards deep down. Okay, and, and, and on average, I would say veterans have more courage than the general public. You know, they have the courage, and they've done psychological studies on this, where uh, uh, you know, somebody in the military will charge a machine gun nest if ordered to, but it takes more courage to say no to their commander if they're being told to do something immoral, like a massacre. And so that's my point, is they play on their fears and know that at a subconscious level, we all have a little coward in us, and that people will then, well, this is scary. Well, I'm for whatever Homeland Security does. I love naked body scanners. I love the banks stealing trillions. I love corruption. You know, I don't see anything. I hear nothing. I see nothing. I speak nothing. 